What's going on everybody? Welcome back for another brand new video. My name is Soham and today, as you guys know from the title of this video, we're going to be talking about the first ever video game. Now, if you want to know more about this, we're going to have to take a trip down memory lane back to 1958. October of 1958 to be more precise, where on the 19th of October, a brilliant young guy, young, I mean, a brilliant guy called William Higginbotham decided to release a game to the general public to play. And this game was called Tennis for Two. It was a very simple game. You just it just involved a person trying to get a ball across to the other side. If you if you didn't manage to catch the ball in time, very similar to what you have in Brick Breaker these days, you would lose a point. And it might not seem like much to us today, but this is how it it all really started. And if you guys are interested, William Higginbotham was by no means a computer whiz. He was, in fact, a physicist. And yes, you heard me right. So the next time you want to become a game developer and your parents ask you to study physics for once, trust me, listen to them. Now, we don't know much. Actually, we do know quite a lot about Tennis for Two. Just, I don't know much about Tennis for Two because I'm not a person who's researched into that field extensively. But the game is quite similar, many experts believe so, many experts believe so at least, to a game that came around about a decade later, more than a decade actually, in 1972, 14 years later, called Pong. Now, Pong, as you guys see on your screen right now, uh, was the was a video game that was similar to Tennis for Two, which was released actually later in 1972. It, it does literally all that is in the game. You literally have to just try to get the ball over and make your opponent lose like it did just now and got one point. But, I mean, honestly, you can't expect much more. It was 1972. I mean, this was a popular game back then. You can't expect them to have Fortnite or something. But yeah, this was one of the more popular games back then. People did play it. And, like, as much as they play Fortnite and stuff now, like they play Minecraft now, they used to play Pong back then. This was a thing. And the thing was with Tennis for Two, it was quite similar, but the only problem is that currently there aren't many records left of the game, and even from what sites I could find it on, I wasn't able to get a clear downloaded version running. Oh shit, I lost. But anyway, if you guys manage to find Tennis for Two, do let me know in the comments down below. I'm gonna leave a link for. Oh my god. I'm gonna leave a link for Pong down as well, so do remember to go ahead and check it out. I mean, just remember that this was played once once upon a time once upon a time this was what was the trending game i mean it might not seem like much now but you know you got to respect that those times were different i mean video games were definitely not a thing back then and i mean just be thankful to where you are right now i'm gonna cut the video right there thank you so much for watching if you guys are new be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel other than that it's been so harm and i'm out